Hello, this is Digital, and as many of you know, Planetside implemented the new building system not too long ago, allowing players to make their own bases to change the tide of war. In this video, I jumped onto the server to show you all the features of the bases, and I will talk about whether I believe this is positive or negative for the game. Right now, I have built a small little base to show you as an example. To gain access to all of these modules, you will need to earn certs by default. You are given one anti-infantry gun, three walls, two bunkers and a silo. You get one hive, but you have to be over rank 15 to use this, and everything else you must buy with certs. They sit at 1,500 or 1,000 each. Here are your main base guns, your anti-tank, anti-air and anti-infantry. On top of that, you can use shields that let you shoot out without the fear of being shot back at. The module you can use to repair your defences and offensive guns. The AI will let you leave your base while you look for cortium. Guns will fire when within range. We're given very little options with walls. A garage that is good at covering your Sunday spawn, but will also be good at protecting a hive. A sky shield that stops air bombardment and gal drops. Players that come in contact with this shield will catch fire and die within a short time. A feature that's only on the test server is the blast wall. Ready to cover weak points of your base or just for general cover. Able to tank damage for a short time, this is sure to be a great wall option. The bunker, allowing good cover to players from all angles. Those courtium that you would need to build walls and defences. This is the main power source of any base. And lastly, the hive. The hive is like the heart of a base. This uses fuel to gain points which are used to cap continents. I believe this is 10,000 points you need to get one cap point. When this dies the base will explode killing anything within proximity. It's also worth noting out that the hive will only generate more points the closer you are to the warp gate. This is based on the Lance's link system. I think the base system for the game is good, almost 100%. It has taken battles to new locations where people did not fight. It gives tank drivers more purpose than just fighting tanks. It makes players work as a team to bring down these massive bases. Whole 96 player fights can be stopped in their very tracks. But there are also bad things to this. These bases can get built right next to warp gates with platoons, and it would almost seem indestructible. Many build them next to mountains where players cannot drop down because of the sky shield. They are also built in front of bridges. This is good, but at the same time this stops the entire flow of battle, leading to a halt of both factions. Another issue I found regarding the base system is that a lot of players are only building one gun, a silo and a hive. People who hunt bases are now taking easy highs, which is very problem because this is a very important system now implemented into the game. One last thing is I've heard there could be spawn modules and tank vehicle spawn modules. As we wish at one point shown in a teaser, artillery may soon be here. All of these updates are really cool and I can't wait and I hope they are true. And if you have any comments about the building system I'd like to share, Please leave a like, leave a comment, and possibly subscribe. Thank you. Digital out.